Hello. My name is Galina Kurdina. I live in Toronto, Ontario. I have been a victim of psychotronic mind control attacks since January 2006. I experience a trauma of left temple. Uh, it was like a stroke of lightning. After this trauma, I couldn't read and understand meaning of words and speak properly. I experienced feeling of living in an unreal world, as if I take drugs. I experienced pressure from above on the crown of the head, left side of the head, which brings me into heavy hypnotic twilight state. I experienced constant manipulations in this state, 24 hours every day, except when I am sleeping. Uh, as if I am a bio-robot, involuntary body movements, forced speech, involuntary change of facia facial expressions, tone and pitch of voice, artificial change of emotions, desires, artificial laughter and tears, deletion of memory. Uh, I cannot remember what I did or was going to do 2-3 seconds ago. I experienced debilitation of mental acuity, inability to concentrate, disruption of ability to think rationally and independently, loss of memory, knowledge, um, blurred vision, uh, sleep deprivation, uncontrollable sleep, loss of coordination of movements. I receive very clear visual images and sounds and uh, I experienced many other symptoms. I was referred to uh, two doctors, psychiatrists in June 2006. Both of them, Dr. Dia from Rouge Valley Centenary Hospital in Toronto and Dr. Gratz from Scarborough General Hospital, uh, talked to me less than 30 minutes, interrupted uh, our conversations on their own initiative, didn't want to listen to me, to my symptoms, and labeled me with um, psychiatric disorders. Dr. Kratz with psychosis NOS and Dr. Uh, Dieff with delusional disorder. I wrote them letters, asked them to meet uh, more, uh, to talk more and ask them to review their diagnosis. I sent them statements of disagreement. I filed complaints with Information and Privacy Commissioner for Ontario. They refused to change their diagnosis. I didn't have any other choice but to file lawsuits against the psychiatrist with the Superior Court of Justice. Uh, after that I provided them with a lot of literature regarding psychotronic uh, or mind control weapons. They answered me uh, in their answers uh, to questions on written examination for discovery that they didn't want to assume existence of such weapons. After that they provided me with a report of their expert, Dr. Sugar from University of Toronto. I want to read excerpt um, which I, uh, from factor which I prepared for the motion against Dr. Dieff. Um, this motion was uh, on the 1st of December. Honestly, these two lawsuits and um, documents and materials are almost identical. So I want to use factum prepared uh, for the motion against Dr. Dieff, but uh, these uh, factums and other documents are almost identical for Dr. Dieff and Dr. Kratzer. Uh, Dr. Sugar wrote in his report that psychiatrists were uh, not taught about use of electronic devices as mind control weapons in university and universities. It was not an area of interest uh, in medicine and psychiatry, and there was not literature about psychotronic devices in medical libraries. Dr. Sugar wrote that there were reasons why psychiatrists didn't know anything about psychotronic weapons. It is not true. Some universities, for example Sonoma University in the United States of America, teach on the possible use of electronic devices as mind control weapons. If Dr. Sugar teaches his students to form their diagnosis only according to DSM-4, ignoring all the other medical literature, it may be called a criminal practice, but not a standard of care. Electronic microwave devices used for mind and body control are of enormous interest in modern medicine. There are thousands of books and articles in Medline Library, Library of National Institute of Health in the United States of America, regarding this issue, and psychiatrists including Drs. D.F. and Gratzer, can easily find information about psychotronic mind devices in these libraries. 
A report of Dr. Sugar contains factual mistakes and as a result of negligent work is inadmissible. It may be called only one word, a fake. His evidence, argument, facts are fake, so his conclusion that doctors, uh, DF, uh, Dr. DF and Dr. Gratz are the same, meet uh, or exceed the standard of care is a fake as well. Nobody can accept false, false conclusions based on fake facts. Dr. Sugar who has never heard about psychotronic weapons, even virtually cannot be an expert in this case about use of psychotronic weapons. I provided uh, doctors DF and Gratzer with my expert uh, medical opinions, I mean expert medical opinions from my uh, doctors. I tended expert opinions of the care and treatment uh, from Dr. Steninger, uh, Dr. Spanier, uh, Joyce Myers, and Dr. Steiner. Uh, Dr. Steninger is a toxicologist, PhD. She works and lives in the United States of America. She owns her own company. Uh, Dr. Cynthia Spanier is a psychologist, PhD. Uh, she works with victims of psychotronic or directed energy weapons. Joyce Myers is a licensed um, psychotherapist. She works and in the United States of America and uh, she is an expert um, with um, in the field of directed energy weapons. Dr. Steiner um, is a licensed hypnotherapist and she has a lot of experience with victims of psychotronic or directed energy weapons as well. Dr. Steninger, a toxicologist, wrote in her expert report, in summation, Ms. Galina Kordina has been experiencing the effects of specific electromagnetic and radio frequency fields being targeted to her home since January 2006. This frequency ranges react with specific nano and advanced microelectronics materials that are being created in universities and being utilized commercially by industry, medicine, government and military for monitoring, communications and sensory applications. Dr. Steninger wrote uh, in the addendum to the report, Ms. Kordina's previous history of directed energy, energy exposure uh, not only causes a roller coaster effect of cholinesterase levels, but will react with advanced nanomaterials that are used as microchips to send signals to the body. Dr. Steninger is sure that I am a victim of psychotronic attacks and have toxic poisonous nanomaterials in my system, which are used as chips that send signals to my body. Dr. Spanier, a psychologist, PhD, Dr. John Steiner, hypnotherapist, PhD, 